my idea of heaven is the forest. You know, the Bible talks about streets of gold and all this stuff. I don't need to see that. You know, I want to see my Savior and I want to see the forest. What in the world did we kill? I've made a living in the woods since I was 16 years old. I'm 42 now and I logged every day up until the point to where I was about 38 years old. When you enter the woods in the morning, my habit was always walking into the timber with that saw on my shoulder. So many things can go wrong. And when you walk up to that first tree in your game plan of you know, notching this tree, looking at the tree, judging it where it needs to go, the best place for it to fall so it doesn't damage the residual stand of trees, the safest place for it to go, and how we're going to get it out of the woods. And so when it finally does what you want it to, to take a tree that weighs thousands of pounds, it just takes your breath away. There's so much respect there, just like harvesting a deer. You know, there's a respect factor. It's not just killing. We're doing Mother Nature a favor because that is a resource that we were given to utilize. And it's just like cutting a tree. If you're too nervous to start with, you're gonna get hurt. And same with white-tailed deer hunting. If you're you cannot control the nerves of what's about to happen when that deer is closing that distance. You're going to mess it up. And normally those are the biggest deer in the woods and that is what drives me. My challenge is that one-on-one -on -one with the big deer. And it's hard to do that in a 10 to 15 minute show all the time. So we're trying to take the best of the tidbits that we can of little info and portray them to the public. And we're hoping that is what people will see the difference in Whitetail Edge, you know, with Ben Rising and his team.